Okay, let's go ahead and sketch a nut in SOLIDWORKS 2013. But first of all, you should switch to 1080p uh, HD on the bottom right corner of the screen so you can get good quality. So let's open up a new part and let's change um, the units to millimeters. Document units millimeters. Okay, so let's start sketching that plane choose a polygon make sure to choose six sides okay let's make it a 14 millimeter um, radius for a 14 millimeter socket range and uh, features extrude make it six millimeters nice okay let's round it off let's get some circles all the way to the edge, 7 millimeters. And uh, features, shoot cut, flip sides, click on this icon to choose angle, 60 degrees is fine. Repeat on the other side the same thing, or you can use the mirror command. I don't mind using, I don't mind repeating it. Flip side, 60 degrees. Okay, it's looking good. And another circle for the hole in the middle. Let's make it exactly four. Features a shrewd cut. Nice. Now let's round off these edges over here. Uh, for that, we can use the chamfer command. Uh, we can make it uh, 0 0.3 millimeters at 45 degrees. This one plus this one. Okay. Okay, it's looking good. Now we gotta make the thread. So let me show you a nice quick trick of sketching in three dimensions. This might be useful for something else, but under sketch, choose the line, the arrow, and choose 3D sketching select center line and now you were sketching in three dimensions so starting from this center we can go this way about 10 millimeters okay and now let's choose circle just make sure you're on the right axis okay make it um, exactly four millimeters okay now we have a circle that's extended out of the nut and now we can make a helix out of it choose under features curves helix and now we gotta we just have to fix it choose high height and revolution that's the easiest for me and let's make it 40 millimeters long with 40 revolutions so one revolution per millimeter okay click ok now select the right plane normal to and choose sketch again polygon make sure to use three sides for a triangle zoom in you can grab the corner over here and uh, go exactly 180 degrees and you can make the radius exactly one millimeter click ok and uh, exit the sketch features swept cut this is the last command that we will use choose the triangle next choose the path which is the helix and okay and just wait for your computer to <laughs> think of all the stuff and click OK come on alright there is a thread this is a metric size M14 nut 